Hello my friends and welcome back. It's episode 25 of Battletech Advanced. There are many missions to do, all of which are bad for my reputation. But hey. Um... Yeah, no matter what I do, like, I am gonna take some reputational damage, so, hey, here we go. Hmm, I wonder why he was unselected. Oh, well, whatever. Way back in the fire starter. You know what's funny to me is if you. So, one thing I did in BTR is I made all kinds of interesting arm modifications that I felt like they would make sense in the context of the BT universe and with some support of uh, the Sarnanet wiki in terms of, you know, things that actually exist in the BT universe. So I had arm mods that, like, you know, contain fire foam and shock absorber and stuff for uh, creating stronger shield arms. And then, you know, your typical arm mods that enable better hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um... I thought the arm mods in the base game were slightly overpowered. Like, not insanely overpowered, but certainly the one that was like no tons for 60 damage and just took up a load of critical space, that one was pretty overpowered. That enabled a light mech to have like 180 melee damage. Now if you think about it, the Atlas has got depending on how you do the math from the tabletop. Between like, uh... uh 120 and like 150 melee damage. So my, um... My Loader King has more melee firepower than an atlas by quite a long way. And that's kind of crazy to think about. What the hell is this deployment? My team has been split into two pieces. Yes, commander. Fortunately, yes, commander. These two are jump capable so they can get away if they need to. And they probably do need to. Holding for the right opportunity. Reserving action. I'm gonna hunch back. Ultra AC5. Oh my Commander. god. My battle armor is in a horrible position. As soon as it loses its spawn protection, it's going to be in massive orders. trouble. Jump jets are not strong enough to get me up that cliff. What 
What is this nonsense? Like seriously. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Waiting for orders. Let's move. I was gonna just withdraw these two mechs down and lure the enemies in, but with my battle armor all the way up there. Unless I want it dead, I've got no choice but to engage. It looks like the enemy have actually got units somewhere else and they're moving them around. Still got spawn protection. Yeah. I'm ready. Battle armor is in big trouble. Yep. Let's move. Let's move. Five meter spread, no sound. Should I bother? got no choice now, I've got to move it. This guy is still not moved, so... Ready to get it on. Oh, can I swarm that guy to get out of dodge? On the move. be on the ridge line here trying to escape. Oh he missed. Feel the fail power of the AC twenty. Locked on with all weapons. Lol. Bleed, boy, bleed. Unfortunately, him falling over like that what do you need? has unmounted my battle armor. Got full front armor. Big yikes. Yep. Standing 
Waiting for my opening. Okay. Observing action. Commander. Understood. Moving fast. Did you just hit the battle armor? That's a hit. Reporting. Heavy damage. Oh, the battle armor's got its back showing. What does that matter? I think I just got flat HP, so it doesn't matter. Receiving you. Double time. Let's go. Double time. Let's go. Roger. I effect now. <laughs> Target eliminated. All right, seven enemies left. I'm very concerned about my battle armor this turn, though. Light damage, holding firm. Ready for orders. Man, this is truly horrible the way that my units were deployed here. I've been sensor locked. I live to serve. Firing on target. We'll shoot at the front of this blackjack because I've got no no other target. Try and get behind the uh, hunchback. Well, knew this was going to happen. What do you need? Copy that. All weapons, fire. Okay, it's not bad. Can't eject it either. As we have learned. The AI will just go for it, the enemy that it thinks is the easiest hit, which will always be the battle armor. Standing by. Find some low ground position with which to hide it. Confirm. <clears throat> as quickly as possible. Oof. Bugging out. Right, let's get a speed gun. Firing. 
keep shooting the blackjack. It's actually not that fragile. It's um, normally blackjacks are pretty fragile, but this one seems pretty well armored. <sighs> Man, my evasion is not saving me today. Standing by. Double time. Let's go. Hopefully this will be uh because it's got less evasion, it'll be more of a more of a target. Got it, Commander. Can persuade the AI to uh, switch targets and therefore share my armor. Waiting for orders. Full speed, no target. Firing full complement on enemy. That will be a miss. No joy. All oh, right, they have indeed switched targets. Or he's just decided that. He hasn't actually got an angle on that. He is the Loader King. Um. Come on, Loader King. All right. It's only three turns, but it feels like forever. <laughs> no shooting, just running. Firing a full salvo. Headshot. Bleed, boy, bleed. I'm just glad that they didn't have a couple of artillery mechs over here bombarding me with unavoidable AoE. Well, this would have been painful. Good to go. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. much into the ditch as I can. Hide yourselves. If I kill these two, I think uh, they won't have any sight on it. Okay, that was easy enough. Standing by. An 
Omni Firestarter. This large pulse laser is destroyed. So okay, I'll be right here. Not as scary as it could be. He's stressed because he's bleeding to death. Forty. That really hurts. What do you need? Waiting for orders. Wow, he's actually successfully maneuvered. Uh, Commander? To a position where I can't actually blast him in the back. I mean, not easily. Yep. Confirmed. Locked on. I'm not even sure if I should keep firing at this guy, because he's going to bleed to death, so... Yep. I could just ignore him. Going full throttle. He's gonna fall over, so... Alright, now he's bleeding. Quicker to break his legs than his CT. Quicker to break his head, but they will the be odds done. of that are quite low. seem that great. Engaging target. I'm going to just let these two bleed out. Since it, Ready it's only going to take two turns for them to bleed down. Locking in all weapon systems. 
But if these two bleed to death and this one I can pick off, then uh, then suddenly this fight gets a lot easier. We'll have to pay attention to see if these guys use the sta staunch wounds thing. Doing for armor here. That's the right side, that's the side facing that way. Should be alright. He got tamed bleed. It's one of those situations where the front is more uh, arm, uh, the front is less armored than the back. Uh, this is the shot I have, so it's the shot I'm going to take. Oh, well, that's a front hit, so... In a way, that's the most helpful shot. Except, you know, the one that goes into the RCT and kills him instantly. Because that means he's going to topple. Yeah. And once he's top once he topples, he's toast. Roger. Kinda of on the wrong side, so is that a rear shot? Good to go. Oh, you lucky boy. Acknowledged. I copy. Whoa. Damn. I'm like... Where's the damage going? Got it, Commander. He is already dead. In how many turns is he dead? Bon appetit! Take that! No weapons. Makes sense for him to eject. Now, the interesting thing is, staunching the bleeding takes a whole turn. So if they do do it, and I've never seen the AI do it, but if they do it, it's going to take their whole turn. So... It basically switches them off anyway. That will be a miss. Reporting major armor loss. Eject now or die! Commander? Yes, Commander. Finally, the Loader King is in position after five rounds, having been put in the worst position imaginable. 
what's going on with this terrain? The top of the mountain is greasy. Pretty sure water doesn't work like that. Targeting for an alpha strike. Solid connection on that one. Where did your engine go? He's up. Oh, you missed. You can also bleed. One activation remaining before he bleeds. Aye, aye. This little pit where I'm currently sat is actually the only... seemingly the only safe spot. I can hit these three, but not this one. Right, let's uh, turn off a few spicy weapons because I don't want to actually burn my pilot here. Engaging physical attack. Oh. He's bleeding. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Waiting for orders. Your mech is on fire. Waiting for the shot. <laughs> he fired his guns in one last act and then he ejected. He was bleeding to death, so... Entire turn meaning the camp maneuver. That would be a very bad idea. Full throttle. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Roger that. Standing by. The Loaded King has technically bagged its first kill by forcing that guy to eject. By hitting him through the rear section and causing him to bleed, but... There is certainly more Waiting for the shot. to be done. gonna bleed now. And he bled to death. And that hunchback is next. Yeah.
gotcha. Ooh. Light damage. Holding firm. That was a talented shot, that was. I'm your spaniel. Ready for orders. Orders? Alright, what I'll do is I'll aim at this one, because he's quite far away. And so getting behind him will be a pain in the ass. Ready for orders. While maneuvering my team into position. Get these two. Man, that fire starter at the back must be thinking, like, why me? Yep. Got it. No shooting, just running. at enemy six. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Beep, beep. Yes, Commander. Carry on hiding in that little ditch. I could have stepped out, shot, and then stepped back in, but... Standing by. It's such a tiny amount of damage and it doesn't matter anyway because Standing by. I'm receiving you. The guys are about to uh waiting for orders. Be melted anyway. On the move. Full speed. This could do some real harm. Locking on. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ooh, spicy. Oh, he's out of ammo. I await your command. He's out of ammo for basically every weapon he's got. Okay, that was a fantastically dumb place to put your mech. Reserving action. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Okay, it's fine. Warning. Enemy Oof. in rear arc. That made me sweat a little.
He was lucky to get that hit. There was definitely a bit of pucker factor there. Man, the Loader King's disgusting. Orders? More melee power than an Atlas. It's absurd. I'm walking here. See how you like this. There's some serious puck factor there. What do you need? Understood. Moving fast. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Ah, oh, there goes his gyro. How'd that taste? Commander. Red line. Damage. Uh, Shutting oh. down. My heat gauge is pegged. Roger. Orders. Now this will be funny. Move order received. If he died from this, it would be very. It would amuse Fire. me greatly. Full compliment on the enemy. Oh, nearly. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, I got him! <laughs> oh, the battle armor that I thought was doomed. And I genuinely thought it was doomed. Because it was so out of position. Not only did they survive, but they managed to get a kill. Yeah? Let's move. Let her rip. Oh, yeah. Mission successful. Let's dust off and go home. That was fun. That placement was blatantly unfair. I'm glad that there's so many rubbish enemies in this game. If I'd have gotten that kind of positioning, and it was eight BTR mechs, I would have lost. I would have lost one or two mechs easily. I always bring up the Omni stuff when... Uh, You've gone for full money. Whenever you go for full full money, all the good stuff comes crawling out of the woodwork. War, war never changes.
can't go into combat like this. Of course we can. Log and note. Some Shouldn't be too incredibly hard. minor damage to repair. Right. Apparently the firepower is supplemented by two medium lasers in each arm. So the hard points are not as great as I've thought. It's quite easy to destroy hard points in the arm. to evasion on movement. I think this is a pretty high-tech Hollander. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, it's got DHS. Ferro fibers and endo steel. That makes it a pretty solid piece of kit. It's got an anti recoil quirk, even though it's got no uh, ballistic hard point anymore. It's kind of funny. Damage for ten tons doesn't strike me as great. Let's armor her up.
a full pulse. If I went full medium pulse, that leaves me with a couple of tons. choices here. Let's put it back how it was. I don't I don't have a lot of good energy choices. Ten for seventy-five. Fifty for seven. These damage outputs are not great for any of this. as well. Mmm, not a fan of light armor either. This does not have a correct engine, does it? Engine should be 35, 70, 105, uh, 210. It's it's a 6x engine. And yet, bizarrely. Rated seven, not six. Seven, ten. It's pretty quick. Actually drops me from that is the break point between five and six. 
slightly downgrade the engine. It's got a lot more armor, a little bit more firepower, in exchange for just a small amount of speed. Instead of 710, it's 69, but 6 is loads of movement. It's like the heavy PPC is quite the solid option. I thought large lasers might be better, but large lasers are not doing 50, they're doing uh, 40. I don't have any standard PPCs available. None of the usual base game bonuses, you know, plus 5 damage, plus 10 damage, those kind of bonuses seem to be here, so. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, well worth getting a high-tech mech on the team anyway. The fact that it's double-cooled uh, is going to uh, make it a fine addition. Especially since it does not have the wretched XL engine. But it's getting its weight savings via uh, high-tech armor and internals. Okay, I think that's it for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys next time.